everyone, I'm Juliana with Kids Night Inbox, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing video of our April Kids Night Inbox Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. So this was all about making the world a better place and doing our part. So as always, the first thing you're going to see when you open your box is the guide. And on the first page of the guide, we welcome you with a letter from our founder. Um, we let you know any contest we're having, and we also let you know the inspiration behind the theme. Um, then, uh, as always, we have um, this journey to a better environment, and just kind of gives you a little sneak peek of what you will be doing in the box. Um, and then this month, we actually hosted a coloring contest so we also included instructions on how to enter and win that. So turning to the next page, let's get cooking. Um, each Kids Night Inbox comes with a curated uh, recipe made by our blogger Marina that we partner with. This month we actually did something different. Instead of putting the recipe in the insert, we included this recipe card with the recipes on here so that you could kind of keep it and maybe keep all the recipes in one place that you get. And of course it's theme friendly. So next we have the reading time. We always include a book in every Kids Night In box. This book was called Don't Throw That Away. And it was super cute, it just was about um, how we can take ordinary trash and make it into something something new. It was um, had f little flip up things all throughout it. So just teaching us things we can do with trash other than throwing it away. Um, and then as always, we included some comprehension questions to go along with the story just to um, get your little one's brain working a little bit harder than just reading the book. So next we have our artwork. And for this artwork, you needed your watercolor paint palette that we included. You needed your white drawing paper. You needed um, a cup of water and a napkin. And we started off with just painting the background blue so that the background could have time to dry. And we included two pieces of paper because we know a lot of our subscribers have more than one children. So we try to accommodate to that when we can. Um, so while you're waiting for your background to dry, the next thing is reuse your knowledge. And we include this little uh, worksheet type thing about recycling and reusing. Um, on one side, it has a bunch of facts about recycling and kind of um, just goes a little bit deeper into what recycling is and why we need to do it than the book did. And then on this side, they used... Um, this sheet and their stickers and they were to put a sticker over each item that could not be recycled or reused. So just trying to add a little bit of education in our boxes and then we provided the answers in the book at the bottom upside down. So next is snack time and for the snack this month we included a crispy chocolate rice bar um, the company we partnered with was very uh, eco-friendly and we just included a little bit of information about the company and why we chose this specific company um, so next we have the upcycled bubble blower so the kids actually made their own bubble blower. So they have a craft tube and then this mesh material and also tape and bubbles. You put the mesh on the end of the tube like that and then you use your included tape to um, tape it on there to make it stay. And then you get your bubbles 
and a bowl. And you would pour your bubbles into a bowl and then dip this end of the bubble blower in the bowl and blow bubbles and it makes a bunch of bubbles at once. Um, and then we also wanted to include some games that the kids could play as part of our movement. Um, so it's just different games that they could play with their bubbles. So next we return back to the artwork and for this part you would need your paper that would already be painted blue. Um, you would need the newspaper that we include in the box. You would need your paper straws, some green crinkle paper that we include, and then once again your paintbrush, and then scissors um, to cut the straws, which we highly recommend adult supervision while using the scissors. Um, but we include an instructional video online and the kids made these flowers out of paper straws and newspaper on their uh, paper. And we have a step-by-step -step instructional video that they can watch so that they can feel independent and do it on their own. Um, and it actually turned out really, really cute. So to wrap our box up, we encourage our subscribers to take an eco-friendly pledge. So um, we just wanted them to think about everything they had learned completing this box and then pledge one way that they could make the earth a better place and sign it at the bottom. And then we um, even suggested cutting this out and putting it somewhere in your home where you would be reminded of it. Um, we also included this reusable snack bag to just go beyond the box a little bit. It wasn't part of an activity in the box, but um, it was just kind of our gift to our subscribers to say thank you. And it's just a snack bag that you can reuse. It's dishwasher friendly just to um, kind of cut back on the use of the plastic sandwich bags. And then as always on the way on the back, we have the ways to continue going green. So it's just suggestions. It has different books, different movies, um, different suggestions of ways that you can keep this theme of reduce, reuse, recycle going and just um, go beyond the box a little bit. So that concludes our Reduce, Reuse, Recycle unboxing and we hope you enjoyed.